It is Thursday, February 29th, and today I'm just wondering about Micah Parsons' future in Dallas. And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. Oh, hail. No, I'm not cursing. That's the name of a terrific Dallas roofing company in business more than a decade. They handle residential or commercial properties. And those weird insurance forms that seem to be written in a foreign language? Oh, hail can simplify those for you also. So the next time something happens to your roof, just say, Oh, hail. O-H-H-H-A-I-L. Oh, com. Star Power Expo is the best time to update your home. Get spectacular prices on the best in home entertainment, luxury appliances, smart home products, leather seating, and more. Check out innovations like the 171-inch video wall from LG. The Star Power Expo 3-Day Savings Event runs from Friday, March 8th through Sunday the 10th at both Star Power locations, North Dallas and South Lake. Check out all the deals by going to the website, starpowerexpo.com. Hey, I was just wondering, do you know the history of Goodness Steak Seasoning? Well, back in 2010, I had a little bitty roast sitting in the fridge, and I thought, man, I've got to do something with this. So I took that roast, put a whole bunch of different spices on it, wrapped it up, put it on that grill. About three hours later, opened it up, and man, heaven in a foil package. That was the beginning stages of what Goodness Steak Seasoning is today. So if you'd like to have a little variety in your life, Goodness Steak Seasoning is where it's at. Limited availability in stores, bring the tasty.com. Micah Parsons is an incredible talent. He's been in Dallas three years. And in those three years, he's totaled 40 and one half sacks in 50 games. That is, that's almost an obscene rate for sacks in the NFL. Those 40 and a half sacks, he's already number eight on the Cowboys all time in three years. With another solid season next year, he'll pass Hall of Famer Randy White, and then soon after that, Ed Jones and, and so forth. He's had at least 13 sacks in each of his first three seasons in the NFL. There's been only one other player in the history of the NFL to do do that, and that's the Hall of Famer Reggie White, nicknamed the Minister of Defense. Last year in the NFL, number one in quarterback pressures with over 100 was Micah Parsons. He's a unique combination of speed, strength, and agility. He lines up very often at defensive end, but then he lines up at linebacker and blitzes from there. Unless something terrible happens, he's headed for the Hall of Fame. He's still on his rookie contract, and there's no question that sometime next year, Dallas will pick up his fifth-year option, keeping him with the club through 2025. But then what? Micah Parsons is frustrated here. There's any question about that. Oh, the Cowboys have done great in the regular season, 36 and 15 in his three years here. But they've also exited stage left very quickly in the playoffs. And after some games, and certainly after playoff losses, the frustration pours out of Micah Parsons. Pours out of him in interviews, pours out of him in podcasts, 
in, including his own and others that he's a guest on. What happens after those three years, after two years or three years? There's no question Dallas will offer Micah Parsons a ton of money to stay. But in his three years here, Micah Parsons developed an unbelievable bond with then defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, who's now moved on to be the Washington head coach. It is not at all a stretch to call Dan Quinn a kind of father figure for Micah Parsons. And by the way, that bond definitely extends the other direction. In a Dan Quinn interview at the Combine this week in Indianapolis, Dan Quinn said, quote, about his now getting a head coaching job in Washington, a second chance to be a head coach, he, Parsons, was super important. One of the fun parts about Micah is that he pushed me to think differently. I think he was probably the most the, uh, capable that I could find there. He could be off the ball, on the ball, rush over the guard, rush over the tackle. So first and foremost, you have to be really smart to be able to play those kinds of positions. And then to have the competitiveness to keep saying, I can go attack him. I can go attack him. Because as you know, the better you get, the more attention you get. So you have to then find ways to beat a chip, beat a double team, find unique ways to do that. So it was fun to go through that process with him. There isn't any question in Washington this year, Dan Quinn will miss Micah Parsons. There isn't any question in Dallas this year, Micah Parsons will miss that special bond he developed with Quinn. The question is, in the future, might they be reunited? Today's episode has been brought to you by Fluent Financial, by O'Hell Roofing, and by Goodness Steak Seasoning. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at fanstreamsports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Just Wondering. If you enjoyed it, please hit follow. Then each episode every weekday will be delivered straight to you. And if we might ask one more favor, please share it with friends. I'm Norm Hitzkus, and every day I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitzkus, and I'm just wondering too.